Today I would like to go over the song Never Enough from the movie The Greatest Showman, so please stay tuned for this one. I actually only recently watched the movie The Greatest Showman and after so many people have told me about it, I was happy that on the long airplane flight where I was going back from the States back to Germany, I saw that it was there and so I watched it. It was awesome, I loved it so much. The singer who's singing it, she's supposed to be an opera diva, but she's not singing it in opera style at all because the whole movie is kept in this style of very contemporary kind of pop sound. The movie has an old setting, like back in time, but the music is not back in time, so it's a very interesting mixture. And she actually sings it in a very modern mainstream pop way. So let's get into it. This is very high, it requires high beltings. Just transpose it down a little, which is hard too, because it also goes low. It has a really large range. And I'm, I'm gonna sing it in A flat major. So let's get started. And I put the mute on my piano, otherwise you won't hear my voice over it. So it starts really soft. I'm trying to hold my breath. So make sure that you're not, I'm trying to hold, not darkness, so bright voice color, and then you're gonna have a mic. I don't use one on purpose today because I wanna just you, you to hear how that sounds when you just practice into the room. I'm trying to hold my breath. See, I'm still having full control. It's not, I'm trying to hold my breath. I'm trying to hold my breath. And now it goes really low. Let it stay this way. And you can hardly hear it, but if I had a mic, you could still hear enough of it. So you don't have to really be loud. Can't let this moment end. You set up a dream in me. I want to get to the high part, really. Getting louder now. No. So low. Can you hear it echoing? Now we get to the interesting part. See how I'm preparing? Make sure you prepare. You have time here. It's like, take my hand. Will you share this with me? Cause darling, without you. Now, okay. The first most important thing is posture, preparation, deep breath. Each and every time before you start that, those phrases with the high pitches, okay? really important so it's like all the shine of a thousand spotlights and the second rule power on the top release on the bottom release not in the sense of release your support or uh, your breath release the vocal cords to where you don't get stuck in all the shine of a thousand spotlights oh no so all the shine of a thousand spotlights you can lighten up your voice all the stars we steal from the night will never be enough. I think it's it's easier if you really start straight tone. And again, reverse engineer and exercise will never, never, never be enough. So try to not do it in a fancy way, but really like all the shine, all the shine. Very kind of simple. It's not all the shine, no. Very little vibrato here. All the shine of a thousand spotlights. All the stars we steal from the night will. And yes, you can breathe here if you need to. And will never be enough. Nice and open. Never be enough. The A ah needs to really try to be open. Ne Straight tone. Never be enough. I find it easier when it's straighter than doing lots of vibrato. Again, deep breath. Ne, ne. See how I'm using that nasal sound? Never be enough. Nuff, nuff. Don't you go nuff, no huh. Okay, so never be enough. Never be enough. Nuff. As a matter of fact, think the 
bottom one as the heavier one and the top one as the lighter. Don't go enough, enough. You don't want to accent the top one, but you really never be enough, never be enough. And then if we go on, towers of gold. So it's towers of gold. It's not towers of gold. You're beating your voice up and then you're not going to have any energy left. So towers of gold are still too Make sure you don't go, never be enough. You want to really make sure you're releasing your jaw. Never be enough. Relax. Make sure you stay in your chest voice. Don't do, never be enough. Too classical. Never be enough. Nice and open. Never be enough. We could do it straighter. Never be enough for me. Never, never. Now what you want to do on the never, never, you want to kind of, you don't want to breathe in between the two nevers, but what you do want to do, you want to lift. It's not never, never. It's never, 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 never. Like you're speaking it, right? It's not never, never. It's never, never. The emphasis is on the n. Ne, ne, right? Ne, ne, ne. If you can do that, then you can do the whole phrase. Never, never, ne, ne, ne. Just practice that, the ne, right? Never, 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 never. See how I, I don't breathe? I don't go never, never. And I also don't go never, never. But I really lift a little bit without breathing, support through, but always emphasize the ne, ne, okay? So again, so prepare. Never, 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 never. Make sure you don't go never, but never, never. So what you want to try to do, if you can possibly, if you can possibly stay, you know, without breaking into head voice, it's the sound is more authentic. Never enough. The way I approach it, enough, enough, enough. Can you try that? Maybe just kind of enough, enough, enough. If you possibly can get close to that pitch in your kind of speaking, shouting voice, enough. Always controlled with support, good vocal cord closure. Okay, that goes without saying. Never enough, never enough, 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 no, 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 no. Just kind of try to see how close you can get to find out if you can possibly sing it not in head voice. Never enough. And I try to keep it straight, not to put too much wobbly vibrato in there, maybe toward the end a little bit more. If you can totally, absolutely, there's absolutely no way you can do it in chest voice. You don't have to break into head voice. Never enough. So I find it hard. Never enough. Never enough. Yeah, rather probably straighter is better than too much vibrato. Never enough. Never enough. So again, you have to kind of find the exact point where for you it makes sense to switch. It may be never enough. Enough. It may be never so from here chest head voice or it may be head voice all the way or chest 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 head you have to kind of know but you have to predetermine this you have to know this before you sing it and figure this out for yourself ideally you would not necessarily have to go into head voice and you would never enough never enough I broke just now so because I didn't really hold the tension you really want to prepare with that breath never enough, never enough, never enough for me for me for me and again the E is really hard for me E, 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 e. e has a lot of ping natural 
laterally, but you don't want to make it narrow. What's really important is the E lifts between your back teeth, but in your throat it does stay open. So it's like, I, I. It's not, I. I don't close my throat on the E. For me, for me. to resolve that's when you add the vibrato never be enough for me never never Let's turn the page never 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 for me for me never enough never never in head voice but I think it's much harder to do it in never enough because it is so high to where it sounds kind of classical I find it. in my voice it does that never enough for me for me for me no vibrato till the end and I find that last one for me that is so hard. I don't know. I never know how to sing it. If you want to do it louder, it makes sense in chest voice. But otherwise, I guess you could do it in falsetto. For me. And again, no vibrato until later. Whenever you have a long held pitch, don't put the vibrato in the whole time. Unless you're singing opera. Okay, I hope this lesson helped you a little bit. By no means am I perfect at this song, but I think it's a fun song and it is one of the most difficult ones. I think this is really challenging. So I hope you have fun with it. And um, if you have not subscribed, do subscribe and make sure you hit the little bell symbol. Otherwise, you may not ever know when I come out with a new video. And give it a thumbs up if you liked this lesson. There's lots more how to sing that song videos, which I usually do over at my electric piano, but today I chose to be at my piano because that just sounds better to me. And I hope to see you next time and always keep on singing, always keep a song in your heart. Bye now.